Hello, everybody. Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics. Hi, everybody. I'm Andy Chatfield. I'm head of tech support here. Today is Tech Support Tuesday, August 9th, and we're going to talk about our new serial RS-232 joystick. Yes, we are. So um, a few of you guys may remember this is our old HC Joy. Um, this is our G1. We have now moved on to the G2 unit here. Um, there are some notable differences that have happened between the two editions that I would just want to go over today to make everyone aware of. Um, I think every single one of these changes we've made as a result of a request from a customer. So hopefully some of these features you guys will look forward to using and will actually benefit you in your production environment. Um, the first thing I want to mention is the HC, the HC Joy G2 has four cam buttons on the side that you can use to very quickly, with one button, grab control of camera one, camera two, camera three, or camera four. As of right now, I only have two cameras hooked up, so I have camera one and camera two. So my cam one should be sitting right in front. You guys can see it moving there. And then my cam two is the one showing me and Paul here. So, Easy, very easy to switch between cameras with just the push of a button. Um, one of the other main differences that we have made with this joystick compared to the last is you now have manual focus and auto focus and manual exposure and auto exposure buttons. So for cam one, which should be my one here, actually I'll do cam two because you guys can see it. Um, I'm going to set it for manual focus and then I'm going to use the focus buttons to throw my, to change my focus level. Um, I can now put it back to autofocus, and if I use those buttons, nothing will happen. Um, same thing for exposure. I'm going to set it to manual exposure mode, and now I should be able to adjust my light level with my iris. Um, if I set it back to auto exposure, I can no longer control the iris. So you have to balance between the two. If you want to control the focus, put it in manual focus mode. If you want to control the iris, put it in manual exposure mode. Um, those are a couple of the main implementations that have been changed. Everything else is still very similar. Um, you can still set presets the exact same way with, um, let me see here. I'll drive the second camera. Actually, I'll drive the first camera. And I'm just going to set, set, one, enter. And now I'm going to call one, enter. That's still set. Call one, enter. Oh, that's not working. I must not have set it. Set one, enter. Now I'm going to move it and I'm going to call one, enter. There it goes. There we go. I must not have set it the first time. Um, everything else works exactly the same. The main features that we've added are the, the two that I've talked about individual selecting your first four cams with just the push of a button and then controlling your focus and iris um, are features that we have constantly heard that people would like those features accessible from the joystick so that's what we've done um, other than that everything else works exactly the same um, i've hooked up the joystick using some of the sony evid 100 cameras intermingled with the ptz optics i haven't had an issue yet um, so the joystick does seem to work very well with the Sony cameras. Um. Uh, little tip, I've uh, used uh, this joystick quite a few times out in the field. Um, sounds stupid, but writing a little list of what the presets actually are yeah. is a great way to use this. So if you've got cam one, cam two, cam three, cam four, I always like to have a little handwritten list that says preset one is you know main stage, preset two is yep. you know drummer. And then you just have a little list. That way, when you're calling everything, especially if you have multiple cameras, you just go bink, bink, and you can just have a little reference sheet uh, because there are no actual names. Everything is number-based. Yes. Yes, it would just be preset one, two, three, or four. You would, you would have to remember which preset corresponds to which spot you're pulling it to. So, The only other new feature that we forgot to mention, Andy, is the backlight on off so you don't have to have that now yes you can control the backlight on and off from the uh the joystick itself uh it's one of the more rarely used features it's for when you have a lot of strong backlighting on a on a subject you can compensate for it using the backlight compensation on or off um it is useful um but i haven't had too much uh 
people calling in asking about how to use it or if it was functional from the joystick. Final thing we'll just mention here is the, and I'll show this actually here, is here's the, the, the remote control here. As Andy said, you can turn auto on and off um, right with the joystick, but you but just make sure that you know you don't accidentally hit the auto button and you won't be able to control the focus if your auto is on. It's the true. other thing is the menu button here. Um, we wanted to just re quickly show this um, in the setup area. We you can set the address of the camera, the address, the the baud rate, and the protocol. You're mm -hmm. gonna have to balance all three between the camera and the the joystick to be able to get control. So Andy has it set for two. That makes this cam two. Both Very my cameras simple. are Vista, Visca 9600 baud rate, and um, one set to one, one set to two. Really quickly, last question: Why, why would you switch your baud rate? Uh, it has to do with basically the latency down a, a, a run. Mm. Higher bandwidth is more resource intensive signals mm -hmm. and it can go a shorter distance. We usually recommend 9600 baud rate all the time unless you have a reason to change it. Got it. Well, that's pretty straightforward. Thank you everybody for watching today. Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel to hear more from us. There is no live stream this Friday. We're taking a break. First break in 32 weeks. <laughs> um, thank you everybody for watching. Have a nice day. Bye guys.